Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So we've done the two most popular superheroes at, in, in the current era and um, well, I thought let's just complete the trinity and do the most well-known superhero since the 70s, which is Superman. I mean, if you don't know him, you live in a cave probably because everyone knows who he is. But yeah, live action Superman movies, just live action. Um, I don't think this really counts, to be honest. <laughs> Does this really count? It's a crossover movie. I get, like, it's a sequel to Man of Steel, like, where's Man of Steel is there, it's a sequel to Man of Steel, and in a way it is a Superman movie, especially the extended cuts, but it's also a Batman movie, so, I, I, I guess we'll count it, no, actually, no, now, you know what, I put, I put this in F right away, but I'm gonna change it, alright, does not count, and we'll change this to an F. No D's. So there we go. Uh, yeah, let's just actually do this. Right, Superman Returns, for me, is an F. Um, I actually, I like the suit. I actually, I, I got I got that exact suit. I mean, it's, it's a budget one from like Argos, like £40. But the point is, I like the suit. But this movie, Brandon Ralph is, Brandon Ralph is not, like, he didn't do a bad job. But this movie was just so bland and so bad. I don't know what they were thinking. It, it was just terrible. <laughs> there wasn't much good about it, to be honest. Um, I like the plane scene where like, you save the plane. Uh, but for the most part, it just wasn't a good movie, uh, to be honest. Man of Steel. Now, I've got some thoughts on this because for me, it's the best Superman movie now. But I used to not like it. When I first watched it, I did not like it. I watched it in cinemas. And I was just like, it's because like I knew Superman to be like the Christopher Reeve Superman, like you know, um, a lot more positive, if that makes sense. Like the way Superman was portrayed in Man of Steel, it wasn't classic Superman. So, and I like classic Superman at the time. And I was just like, I don't, I don't really like this. I don't like how they changed this up. Like I do appreciate different things, but I didn't like how they uh, changed it up. But then. A few years later, after BVS actually, after BVS, because I liked BVS, I really did like BVS. After watching that, I just thought, I should go back and watch Man of Steel, because I was judging it because it wasn't, it was like a not my Superman thing, it wasn't because of the movie. I wasn't judging the movie for being the movie on its own merits. I judged it because of Superman being portrayed differently. So I watched it back, and I'm just like, you know what, this ain't so bad, and the more I watched it, the more I liked it. And that's the thing, you know, opinions of movies can change. Like, you can say movies are terrible and then you can grow on you. You can say movies are great and then you can let say it's not that good. You know, opinions change. But this one has probably changed my opinion the most because I used to not like it and I really like it. Like every time I watched it, it just got better and better. And it's a really good movie. And um, considering what we got at the end of Justice League, um, like what we got at the end of this movie um, was a classic Superman. Unfortunately, the CGI on the mouth ruined it, but we did get a classic Superman towards the end. It, it was clear, it was obvious that just as, that Zack Snyder was building up to him becoming, you know, uh, to him becoming a more, you know, a more super, a Superman that we were more used to back, back before Man of Steel. Like, he was clearly building up to it, but this movie is underappreciated, I think, and I think it's a fantastic movie, so. And also, the score is amazing. Hans Zimmer is majestic at making scores. And this was no exception. Man of Steel was absolutely brilliantly, uh, the, 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 like the score and the Man of Steel theme is so damn good. Trailer free for this movie was amazing. I even watch it back sometimes nowadays. But Man of Steel is a fantastic movie, and uh, it deserves recognition. And I'm proud to admit that I'm wrong. That I was wrong. I was wrong. I thought it, I thought it was a bad movie. It really wasn't. It was really fantastic. Um, anyway, uh, also in the A, though, there's not just a just the only A one. Superman the first one um, is in the A category. This Christopher Reeve Superman was, the first two were very good. Um, I think they both deserve to be in the A category. I think they're both fantastic, they're both classic. Um, they both brought Superman to the big screen in a great way and I think they deserve appreciation. I prefer Henry Cavill's version now, for sure, but Christopher Reeve was fantastic and I think uh, it was uh, 
it was good. These are good classic movies, and um, I really did enjoy them. I don't have the same nostalgia level that other people have. Like obviously, older people have more nostalgia for these movies and Batman 989. I don't have the same nostalgia, so for me, it's always like Man of Steel's better than that, and the Dark Knight trilogy is better than 89, and Heath Ledger's better than Jack Nicholson, and you know, etc. Like, I'm, I'm more biased towards that era rather than the previous era, but these were great. Like, I still appreciate these. Even though the nostalgia's not there, I still appreciate them. Superman 3 and 4, not so much. There's, yeah, this one's free. Um, 3, I'll give a C. 2, I didn't hate it. But it wasn't that good. This was an F. Um, I think this was the worst Superman movie, for sure. So uh, yeah, these two don't. I mean, it kind of counts. It kind of counts, but I'm not gonna count it because I wanted to rank solo Superman movies, and this isn't like. I mean, then again, I put this in the Batman tier maker, don't I? Okay, <laughs> okay. I put it in the Batman one, so put it in the Superman one. This one doesn't count though, I mean, come on. H how can you count that? <laughs> it's a team up movie. It's like saying The Avengers is an Iron Man movie. In a way it is, but it's, it, it doesn't really count, does it? You, you, don't put, you don't put Avengers Infinity War in Iron Man rankings. It, it just doesn't make sense. So you wouldn't put this in Superman rankings. That's my phone alarm. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. Don't ask. Anyway, yeah, that's it for today. So yeah, Movie Monday. It's Movie Monday. I just, I forgot to mention that, didn't I? But <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tear maker. And um, I might do one more next week, but I don't know what to do, to be honest. If there's one for Team Up movies specifically, I might do that. But then again, there's just Avengers. And then there's Fantastic Four. And then there's Fantastic Four, they're, they're all terrible. And then there's X-Men. And half of them are great, half the other half are terrible. I, I don't know, is there a ranking like that? I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll see. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.